Hey everyone, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. And today, guys, it's time that we close the final chapter on the series known as Card Fight Vanguard G. So, guys, um, this video is getting out as soon as you as possible because I have a bit of a headache and I'd actually really like to go to bed. So I've been waiting for this, and I wasn't even sure if I was gonna do a video on this, being it's um, we were told. Or if you would step, if you keep up to date with Card Fight Coalition and other things like that, you would have known this is a slice of life episode. So, um, I decided to do this just to finish off the G series. It seems kind of important to me, but not only to me, but to you guys as well. And it's time to finally put down the final arc in the final episode. So this is considered an extra episode. You don't have to watch it to get anything. Um... So the episode starts off right away with just the intro. There's nothing spectacular beforehand like normal. No recap from last week. Just intro. And then we move along to the next. We move on to the title card, Extra Turn. Not bad. Um. So this episode's broken up into three sections. So there's quite a few pictures. It's, I'm going to try to knock them down and review them as I go. Each mini so is its own separate thing. So, moving along, we start off with some nice fireworks and an overcast of some branch managers. Uh, we get Romeo Liberink, uh tag team here. Uh, no unique music for this episode either. That was sort of my first letdown of this episode was we didn't get a song. So guys, if you don't know, normally in Vanguard, every season has at least one unique song. And for a while, I don't think we've actually had a unique song. At least nothing directly in the episode. And I'm hoping that when they do the reboot of Cardfight Vanguard with Aichi Sendo, they'll keep the music in there. Um, so we have the, f the temporary team, Team uh, Her Hamari High School Loves Vanguard. Which is made up of Chrono, Chrono Waifu, and Kazuto. Um, they're here to come just have fun. We also get Team Final Justice, which is made up of Assassin, Tayo, and Justice Revenging Bully Guy. I can't remember his name. They don't say these guys' names at all, really. But yeah, the, it was just sort of, ha, ah, look at this temporary team of characters. You remember him? He was at the beginning of the series. No, you don't. Well, no, no one remembers him. It's okay. Um, our next scene is Chrono feels insulted, so they challenge each other to, um, a quest off thing, and they just answer questions. Um, we also find out that the butler plays Vanguard now. That's um something we learned. Uh. They're doing a, some form of event where they're playing the uh, tag team version of the game. So that seems pretty interesting. Um, Shion and his friend are going to go fight some idols. Turns out it's Kai and Ibuki, which is just a downside. Uh, he loses to them, obviously, because they're super strong. But we get little, little baby... Uh, What's his face over here? I'm sorry. I'm super tired. Um, we get little Gear Chronicle user. I forget his name. It's uh, Ryuzu. Ryuzu over here is just messing around with his Gear Chronicle stuff. He starts crying when the Dark Zone ma branch manager comes over. And Kazuto's brother just picks him up and plays with him. Yeah. And then we get the best scene for this entire arc. We get the purge attacks. The end attacks. The Great, the Cross, the Ace, the Legend. Every single evolution from the original Overlord attacks. And you know what they say, you can't have a Kagero deck without the in it. Yeah. Um, this is a Slice of Life episode. Um, so yeah, he loses. And then Shion's butler challenges them to a card fight i really don't know what this is guys this is not card fight they're realizing that they're losing quest she's just enjoying her little bread she's adorable she never needs to change 
And it's just sort of a recap of everyone that's sort of having fun. Characters from all across generations. There's Emmy. We have, um, let's see, Kai here. Team Asteroid. It's, it's just a fun time. Everyone's having fun. That's what matters most. Characters are here. Tokoha looks mad. They're just enjoying themselves. And no one told it up the stores, and that's sort of how this mini soda ends. They're just sort of. Yeah, and Ibuki resigns. Or something like that. I really don't. I can't read Japanese. I just thought this was funny. Um, and then we get into the next mini soda of life, which is just to relax Ibuki. So we spend the whole day. It's an association thank you party. Everyone's just sort of here having fun. Kai's cooking, Asteroid's eating, they're talking, and then I really don't know what this is. I just sort of liked it. It had no real importance to this episode. And all they're doing is trying to make Ibuki laugh, and they launch this dude into space. I feel so bad for him. Goodbye, mad scientist. Yeah, he's just literally, this entire mini sub was just, relax, enjoy yourself. Um, everyone's like, oh, we're your friends. You deserve to relax. Stop working so hard. And he just enjoys it. He challenges the three of them to a card fight. Uh, we have the best character in all of every series ever. And everyone's just card fighting, getting autographs. We have more diff-rided people here. An announcer. I really, guys, there's nothing I can honestly say that to redeem this episode. This was by far one of the weirdest episodes. Um, Dark's, uh, the old United Sanctuary branch manager comes and just tells them to leave. And the final arc, the only arc or minisode in this episode that I actually really liked, which was them torturing Chrono. So everyone here, Kazuto and Tokuha, are literally just teaching Chrono, like, she's speaking English in this episode. It sounds so weird. And, yeah. They're just literally just trying to get Chrono to speak English. Uh, someone makes a comment about Chrono getting a foreign girlfriend, which means they haven't hitched up yet. Sad. And, yeah, nope, Jamie freaks out about it. And then we get kittens. We haven't seen them in a long time, so kittens. And then he passes out because Shion tortures him some more because Shion. And then we get this little flashback. If you look at it, Shion's a bit of an adult here talking with a more adult Kamui. Just more talking. And then more talking. Look at adult Tokoha. The only redeeming qualities is these adult, more adult figures of the characters. Adult Chrono, adult Shion. Honestly, they really did, haven't changed their faces at all. But they're talking. Everyone's getting ready to launch. And then we have Tayo, Chrono Waifu, Shin, everyone just. Yeah. And then he wakes up. I honestly thought we were going to get a future look, something that Bushiro doesn't often do, but nope. We went from having this pleasant imagery of futureness to back to the waking world. Shin tries to end the day and. We're just getting started. And then end credits. It's really all, guys. This episode wasn't fantastic. There was no fights. There's no redeeming qualities of this. Honestly, it, I will miss Cardfight Vanguard G. But it is time for it to go. It was a good series to start off with with a good concept. And then Bushiro had to continue past three seasons... Four seasons might have been enough, but three seasons was definitely a good stopping point, and they just couldn't let it go. Honestly, I'm going to miss the entire series. I like this picture of the cat. Chrono waited for the cat to cross. So, yeah. There's really not too much left to say, guys. I mean, I had fun in everything. This is one of the last final sh shots of G. Honestly, guys, I had a really fun time with G, and I'm really glad I got to do this 
season with you all. I know I started a little late by epi- by starting in episode 7 because I realized no one was reviewing these episodes. And I wanted to bring you guys that little bit of joy. And honestly, I had a lot of fun doing this. I'm going to miss doing this for the next month. As you know, Card Fight Vanguard G is ending and we don't get the reboot until May 5th. So I will see you all in one month exactly, or a month and a couple days, because we got to get through April. And then I will return with these weekly episode reviews. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do, so please leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you want to see on my channel in the future, because it would really help with creating some content in the future. Um, I've been doing a lot of stream gaming, so I'll continue that as I can. I'm just a little busy this weekend, and I will try to keep up with news and other games. But guys, until next time, I've been the Silver Wolf, and remember to stand up, Vanguard.